Hi, friends, and welcome to your daily devotional for Monday, March 22nd, 2021. March is Women's History Month, and so this month all of our prayers are coming from women. And today our prayers are coming from A Rhythm of Prayer, a collection of meditations for renewal, edited by Sarah Bessie. It's a new release. I highly recommend it. This week we are talking about Reformation. In the next few moments, I invite you to simply think about what images come up when you hear the word Reformation. Our word from this psalmist today comes from Psalm 119. We'll be reading verses 9 through 16 from the Common English Bible. Listen now for God's word to us. How can young people keep their paths pure? By guarding them according to what you've said. I have sought you with all my heart. Don't let me stray from any of your commandments. I keep your word close in my heart so that I won't sin against you. You, Lord, are to be blessed. Teach me your statutes. I will declare out loud all the rules you have spoken. I rejoice in the content of your laws as if I were rejoicing over great wealth. I will think about your precepts and examine all your paths. I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget what you have said. Let us pray. Heart of my own heart, be my sight, be my song, be my light. Soften my heart that it would break for your world Lead my hands and feet to do work that is poured out for the sake of your children. Make me brave, make me hope, make me trust, make me love. In Jesus' sweet, sweet name, amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 43, verses 8 through 13, from the Inclusive Bible. Listen for God's word. Bring forth this people, a people who have eyes but cannot see, a people who have ears but cannot hear. All the nations gather together and the peoples assemble. Who among them foretold this and revealed to us the former things? Let them present their witness to verify their words, that the jury might say, it is true. You are my witnesses, says Yahweh, my chosen servant, so that you may know and believe me and understand who I am. Before me, no God existed, nor will there be one after me. It was I who made it known. It was I who declared it and saved you. It was I who was in your midst and not some foreign God. And you are my witnesses. It is Yahweh who speaks that I am God. I am God from all eternity and no one can take you out of my hand. What I do, no one can undo. One of the titles used here for God is liberator. What does God as liberator mean to you?
Our New Testament reading today comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 4 through 11 from the Common English Bible. Listen again for God's word. This is the confidence that we have through Christ in the presence of God. It isn't that we ourselves are qualified to claim that anything came from us. No, our qualification is from God. He has qualified us as ministers of the new covenant, not based on what is written, but on the spirit. Because what is written kills, but the spirit gives life. The ministry that brought death was carved in letters on stone tablets, It came with such glory that the Israelites couldn't look for long at Moses' face because his face was shining with glory, even though it was a fading glory. Won't the ministry of the Spirit be much more glorious? If the ministry that brought condemnation has glory, how much more glorious is the ministry that brings righteousness? In fact, what was glorious isn't glorious now because of the glory that is brighter. If the glory that fades away was glorious, how much more glorious is the one that lasts? Friends, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Paul is quite critical here of the law of Moses saying that it brings destruction and death. Do you think it made any difference to Paul that it was God who gave this law to Moses? Let us pray. Merciful Lord, sometimes it seems like we can't help but lose our way again and again. Our hearts long to follow you, but you know the way of the human heart. You know how in our misguided longings we veer off our journeying to you and begin to chart our own ways by false starts and distorted visions. Forgive us. Forgive us for the times we are tempted by the hints of light instead of remaining steered by the assurance of light. Forgive us when we forget that we're already claimed by you, loved by you, and purposed for you. Forgive us when we allow ourselves to shape and be shaped by voices and words that do not bring life, create life, nurture life, sustain life, or resurrect life. Merciful God, help us find our way again. Place your wounded hands upon our broken hearts and turn us toward you. Lord of light, Lord of life, Lord of resurrection. Amen. Friends, may you be blessed with friends to comfort and protect you. May you be safe and not frightened. May you have food and shelter to give you strength. And may hope overcome sadness and joy return. Go in peace and stay well. I'll see you tomorrow.